What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to install Stable Studio, which is a brand new release from Stability AI. Essentially, it's the open source future of Dream Studio. If you don't already know, Dream Studio is an online resource from Stability AI where you can generate stable diffusion images. You just punch in a prompt, click Dream, and it'll create your images using tokens on your account. You'll start with a few free tokens, and of course, you can purchase more. It is a paid program. What you're downloading here, Stable Studio, isn't something that runs locally, allowing you to load the model on your own PC and use your own hardware. No, instead, it's just the future of Dream Studio and that it allows people to more easily build extensions, you to more easily manage your extensions and other things like that in the future. It's essentially all about collaboration. Now, it's really unfortunate that you need to use their cloud to generate images, but that's just how it is. They talk about expanding Stable Studio's capabilities and they're working on their upcoming chat interface within the Stable Studio project, which might be pretty interesting. Scrolling down further, help shape the future of Stable Studio. They talk about a new plugin system, and there's a few things that we're excited to support, such as local inference through Web GPU, local inference through Stable Diffusion Web UI, which is really interesting. I'm pretty sure that this means that you'll be able to generate images locally on your PC. Web GPU is obviously the ability to use your graphics card in your browser through the canvas element and automatic 1111 stable diffusion web ui which is pretty cool to be seen shouted out in a blog post is the web ui for stable diffusion that we're all used to at this point it's got tons and tons of extensions it's seriously powerful and best of all completely free so i would assume in the future you can link it to your local stable diffusion web ui automatic 1111 interface and you'll be able to generate images locally but for now that's not a feature desktop installation control net tools and and of course, any other suggestions you may have coming in the future. That's the future. They'll figure that out. What's the difference between Stable Studio and Dream Studio? Currently, not much. They've removed Dream Studio's specific branding. Obviously, all over the wire API calls have been replaced by a plugin system, which allows you to easily swap out the backend, which is the most interesting part about this project. On release, they'll only be providing a plugin for the Stability API, but in a little bit of TypeScript, you can create your own. And they've removed the Stability specific account features such as billing, API key management, etc. These will still be available on Dream Studio. Obviously, Dream Studio will still remain supported, so you can use it on any device. This is just if you want plugins and, of course, to generate images on different things such as Automatic 1111's Stable Diffusion Web UI. It should run much, much lighter than normal Stable Diffusion on your PC, not requiring you to have insane hardware. Obviously, having to pay for it, though, is definitely not the most attractive thing. Anyway, so to begin, all we need to do is head across to the Stable Studio GitHub page, which you'll find linked down below, as well as the blog post. When you get here, you can scroll down and read about the project, such as plugin support or developing plugins, etc. And all of these links here. And right below this, quick start. We'll need to have Node.js and Yarn installed. If you'd like to see a one-line installer, do let me know in the comments down below. Node.js is very simple to install. Simply head across to that link, nodejs.org, and download the LTS version here. Don't download 20.2. You'll find that you have weird issues in the future with certain packages that don't work properly. LCS is the best for now. Once it's downloaded, install it and head across to the yarn link here, then getting started at the very top, installation, and you'll see how to install it for Node.js 16.10 and above. Simply run core pack enable in a command prompt terminal, likely as admin. So I'll copy this, hit start, type in terminal on Windows 11, otherwise CMD on Windows 10, and pasting in the command here. If you see something like this, you'll need to run terminal or command prompt as admin. So terminal, run as administrator, pasting it in once more, it'll be enabled just like that. And we can run yarn at any time to see if it works. Now, assuming you also have node installed, which you can run just node for, as such, control C twice to exit, we can go ahead and get started with installing Stable Studio. So I'll copy these here, which is basically downloading the files from this GitHub repository, navigating into the folder, installing everything, and starting up the local web server, which will be hosted on localhost 3000, unless something else is using that port. On top of this, you'll need to have your API key for use of the default Stability AI plugin to generate images. And of course, you can grab yours from Dream Studio on the account 
page, which is completely free to generate a few images from. Anyways, I'll cd2 tilde slash desktop, which is my desktop, and I'll paste in the commands as such using control V or right click and hit enter. Now you'll see a stable studio folder on your desktop with all of the files being downloaded into it. Then it'll go ahead and install anything necessary. This of course could take some time depending on the speed of your computer and internet. So essentially this downloads all the files. We change to this directory, stable studio, run it yarn to install everything necessary and yarn dev starts it up. You'll find it running at localhost 3000. Should you want to use the stability API plugin, we'll need to have our API key handy. Then we go yarn and dev, the last command should actually start it up. Now, all we need to do is head across to this link here or control click it, localhost 3000. Assuming something's already using it, it'll be a different port. But anyways, here we are. Welcome to Stable Studio. We'll need to go ahead and get ourselves our Dream Studio key or API key from the account page. For this, you'll obviously need an account. So heading across to dreamstudio.ai slash account, we'll be prompted to log in if we're not already. I'll go ahead and sign in. And now that we have, I'll agree, accept, and we have 25 credits, which is roughly 125 images. I'll go ahead and copy my API key, clicking the copy button here, confirm, and heading back to the local page here, we'll paste it in here. Of course, you can create another API key and then copy it if you don't already see one here, or you'd like to use one for a different reason. Anyways, once we pasted it in, you'll see generate at the very top. This will take us back to the page where we can generate images. And obviously, as we're using the cloud, this shouldn't really take up anything extra on our computer. So I'll just leave it as the default, click dream, and we'll see what happens. Now, it'll essentially reach out to Dream Studio, generate a few images, and return them back to us. That's really about it. Now, unfortunately, as far as I understand, this is cloud only at this point, and we'll be using Stability AI's technology to do everything. This will be a little bit different from Dream Studio in that it's locally hosted somewhat, at least the front end is. So it'll allow us to add extensions, plugins, etc. You can see on dreamstudio.ai, you can see the logo up here, that my images that I just generated are here as they're stored on the cloud. Stable Studio shows me the same images. Anyways, it's essentially the same as Dream Studio, except in the future, there'll be extension support and things like that. I would have hoped that it's something that runs on your PC, something more optimized and official than Automatic 11.11. But anyways, this is what we have. Should you be interested in it, here's a quick guide on how to do it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. That's really about it for this quick guide. It's not as exciting as you would have thought, but the future looks good for image generation. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.